Hi. Okay, so I work for NFL Films. And NFL Films is, is not live TV. This weekend there's the Super Bowl. And there'll be a broadcast of that game and you'll see it live if you want to watch it. And there will also be a whole bunch of our cameras, NFL Films cameras, and we're not live. We're capturing different angles and different pieces of the game and the stories of the game to be used in different ways. So not live, but later in the week there'll be shows that are immediate, pretty immediate. And, uh, and then years from now, they'll be able to pull from our footage for different stories that NFL Films creates. And these stories, I call them stories because they could be short, they could be long, they have fancy names or shows, they could go on different channels, but it's different. Um, I think we take a pride in our role as a camera person and there's male and female camera people and there's sound people, male and female, it's amazing. and. We take a pride in, in maybe going a little deeper than the analysis of the TV broadcast because it's more about the people involved with football. Sure, it's about the plays and the drama and how the play happened and why it got there, but we're there to tell the whole story of NFL. And that includes maybe how a player grew up and found themselves on the NFL football field or a coach so our things are different what we do is different now what I typically do is from a tripod in the middle level of the seats they have little platforms little TV broadcast cameras can go there and I can go there and then I'll get assigned a spot and then I'll have a tripod you know and I'm a camera on there and um, sometimes the equipment I use is specific to either action and I'm only covering general action or it could be just one player I'm supposed to cover or coach. And in that case, I can hear them because they're wearing a microphone and we use sophisticated systems to get that sound to my ear. And that's not even what they're recording. They're recording even a better quality in a bunch of different ways. And this is something we can do because we're part of the NFL and we're very trusted and uh, and we're gonna keep it that way. So anyway, we have terms for all this stuff, but my job typically isn't as sexy as the stuff shot from the ground level. Usually the ground level stuff, a lot of it is slow motion, super slow motion. And that's what most people associate with NFL films and they should, it's beautiful. And for years, we were the only ones that could do it. And there's a lot of us Believe it or not, the ground guys and girls who are currently employed to do that, they're excellent. And there's a lot of us that can shoot almost that good. Well, I should say almost that well, but it's not our role. Um, they're great at it and that's their role. That's their position and I'm sure they're gonna keep it. Um, a lot of us love that look and wish we were capturing it, wish that was our job for the game. And, you know, I totally love it and enjoy it, but I've done tons of it in sports, um, especially when I first started. And uh, so I'm kind of satisfied with what I used to do in that same style, that super slow-mo style, these beautiful shots. With me, it was mostly uh, bicycle stuff. So I sort of got my appetite fulfilled in the slow-mo sports world. And ever since I started with NFL Films, I'm my shot is more of an establishing shot or it's an isolation of one player or a coach. So that's kind of the lowdown. Our position, to be honest, is sort of, to put it in terms, is more of like an offensive lineman position of NFL Films, right? And and the, the ground cameras that shoot super slow-mo, they're more like your receivers and your quarterbacks, you know? They're the ones that are gonna score. And we'd like to think without us, you know, you don't have a game um, because no one's blocking. And I think that's true about our films. Uh, if we're not capturing the establishing shots, the isolation shots of players, 
uh, what we call wire, which is when someone has a microphone on. If, uh, if we're not doing those, you know, we don't have the whole story. You just have these beautiful slow-mo shots. And you can look those up. They have these shots of the year, and it's they, they do a great job of editing them together to create sort of a linear line of information. You know, here are all catches, here are all passes, here are all sacks. And they do it to music, and it's really cool. So you can look that up. It's usually called shots of the year or something. But really, when it comes to the narrative story of a person or the game, you sort of need to establish what's happening in that moment. And a lot of the cameras that are in the stadium on tripods help do that. Um, they're not super wide shots, that's television. We're tighter than that, but still it kind of establishes where the ball is and, and then what happens in the play. And then that way, when you go to the super slow-mo shots, it makes sense. Oh, I see that it's a pass from the 20 yard line. Okay. Oh, I see this guy reaching up to catch it. Okay, let's cut to, or you can cut to the super slow mo shot, which is beautiful. So that's kind of the lowdown of what NFL Films does. And at the Super Bowl, there's going to be a lot of this. And not everyone gets to go to the Super Bowl. And I hope NFL Films doesn't really see this, but the truth is, we don't know why. You know, I think one time I was told by someone. It's like there's a lot of people can that can do this, but you seem to like it and you're not a pain in the butt. So that was told to me in secret. And I've always kept that in my pocket. I mean, it's true. There's tons of people that can do this. And I don't know why sometimes I'm showing up and sometimes I'm not showing up. And because it's so football related, we'd like to think that we had a good year. And usually you got to have a good year just just to keep doing it so um to get to the super bowl for any of us it's there's probably 10 people that you that are just superb they're probably wondering who the other nine are because they're so good they're, they're at the top of the heap and they're they, it's it's hard to fathom there's anyone else as good but it's funny sorry dude and do that there's someone just as good and they're right next to you now Usually you're just the big dog at a game because during the season, um, there's only sometimes only two cameras at a game from NFL films, sometimes four or five, but rarely are there 30. So here we are at the Super Bowl and all the alphas, the ground shooters, man, I don't know what to do because they've got to share. They've got to stay in their lane. They get an assignment. The dude says, listen, you're going to shoot this. And their eyeballs get really big. Like, I got to stand just right here and shoot from this side. And only, and they're so, their wings are so clipped. It's almost hilarious. But within minutes of the game getting close to starting, they become team members and they crush it. So truth is, um, we have so much creative freedom, not me. I stand at a tripod and I have a very specific thing to do. But the people on the ground who can move around, they have they have so much creative freedom that that all of a sudden the idea of, of just having this role is a little stunning to them. But, you know, honestly, most of them are used to it by now. But they only have to do it at a few games. So it's always a little bit like, oh, you mean I got to stand here and, and, and just do this for this team? And it's like, yeah. So Super Bowl is cool because it, in a way, it's this really compromised situation where everyone's a little bit tightened down on what they're going to do that day. And that's, that's what I'm doing this year. My thing is way tightened down. And uh, I am going to film a project with a director and a sound person and it's basically a story. Let's call it more of a, it's not behind the scenes of the production, but it's a little, the game is not the topic. Other people are the topic and uh, who are at the game. So that's, that's my job this year. And um, this is my 15th Super Bowl. Um, there are some years in there where I, did, I didn't get asked to go. Don't know why. And then um, here I am. Don't know why I'm on this role, but I'm happy to do it. And I'm good at it. I'll be great at it. 
Um, so I'm, I'm comfortable and I'm kind of excited to do something else, you know. I've done four or five different things at Super Bowls and this will be another one. So pretty cool. There's the, the lowdown. I don't even know if this will get posted or if anybody will watch it, but I think if the takeaway is NFL Films is not live TV. There are a lot of us at the Super Bowl. We don't know why we get there because we're all great. And it's a privilege to be there, but in some ways, they have so many to choose from. Man, it must be a hard job to be like, I only need these, these people. They probably just throw darts at, at names or something. And it's not because they don't care, it's because I think we're all so good these days. Um, some of the younger people are just so good. And some of the older people, I can't, they've just shot so many Super Bowls and they're so good. It's so crazy. So that's the takeaway. NFL Films, awesome. We helped put football on the map because our cameras were different when we started. And it brought the audience closer to the drama of the game. And we are not the live TV broadcast. We come back and we show you the things that you really didn't see in a new way.